Greetings and welcome everybody to episode 1 of my Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy playthrough. Uh, this game is a really, really unique game because it's not really a game. It's more of a movie than it is a game, to be honest. And just the way everything's played out, the story is really immersive and in-depth, at least from the most part of it, but we'll talk about that later. And just overall, it's a really unique experience. And I and I was surprised when I asked my friend, has he played this game? And he was like, no. And I'm like, wow, you are missing out on such a brilliant work of art. And that's really what I do consider this game to be, a work of art, more so than I do a game. But that goes into the whole debate of whether games are art or not. And yeah, that's a whole different subject for another day. But um, I think we should just get started on the actual game itself. So I'll let Lucas Kane or whatever this guy's name is, take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma. I know one thing for sure, nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos.
have I done? Gotta get out of here, but before somebody comes in here. Oh shit. We gotta get rid of the oh, we gotta get rid of the body. Come on, let's get rid of this, Lucas. Okay, so this is our pretty much the first level to Fahrenheit. You've murdered a guy and you don't know what's happened, and there's a crow somewhere and you're gonna get chased by the pol and the police are gonna come in here sooner or later. So we've gotta get out of here. But first we've gotta clean up the crime scene first. Because, you know, that's... Otherwise, they'll find the body and such. We don't want them to do that. Also, in the bottom right, that is your sanity meter. The... the Depending on what you do, it'll either increase or decrease. Um, the, if it decreases, your character will suffer from depression or possibly commit suicide. We don't want that. We want him to be happy, so we want to do things that make him happy. Like, if he happens to commit a murder, you want to clean up. Clean it up. So let's get out of here. I think that's about, about it. Okay, uh, the police guy is over there, so I'm not really sure if I want to talk to him or go over there. So I'll, I think I'll just dine and dash. Sir! The waitress. She noticed something. What done for? Get out of here. Hey, sir! Your bill! I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Hmm, looks homeless. Poor guy. Out in this freezing cold. Okay, well, the guy's gonna find the body sooner or later, so let's leave this place sooner rather than later. How convenient, a taxi. Wanna make it. Did it? Uh, Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. 